Hello, hi. Welcome to AK111 lecture. My name is Kyrol. I'm going to explain a very critical uh, topic in accounting that is double entry framework. Okay. So in this video, we're going to look at the very basics from accounting equations, how uh, it derived to the double entry system. So, so what I'm going to cover today basically is I'm going to discuss uh, number one, I'm going to define the T accounts. What is T accounts? And then from there, I'm going to incorporate your understanding on accounting equations and try to relate how accounting equations and T accounts help you to understand the double entry system. So what is T account basically? The T accounts is look like sh a shape of alphabet T. Okay, so you have uh, on the left side we call it as debit, whereas on the credit side we call it as credit. So I repeat again, it's look like T alphabet T. On the left side we call it as debit. On the right side we call it as credit. Okay, so debit means left. Yeah, credit means right. It's very easy, yeah? debit, left, credit, right. And it always like that. Yeah, debit always left, credit always right. Okay, so in textbook, you will see many kind of abbreviation, but the most common one is DR. DR and CR. DR is a short form for debit. CR is a short form for credit. This is a Latin word. Okay, so... And on the top of the accounts, we put the title of the account. For example, cash. So on the top, we write cash. Cash means this account, this T account, referring to the cash account. So we have cash. If you have another account, inventories. So we're going to put as inventories. If you have liability, for example, loan. So the title will be loan. So every T account has an increased side and a decreased side. It depends on the types of accounts. Okay, some account might increase on the debit side, whereas some account increase on the credit side. Okay, but debit and credit will always be on the same side. Left is for debit, and right is for credit. Okay, now we move to the second part. I'm going to describe the effect of debit and credit on specific types of accounts. Okay, what are the effects? Okay, I did mention the word to debit and to credit. What does it mean? To debit means we are going to enter an amount to the left side or to the debit side of the account. To credit means that you are going to enter the, that amount, for example, one hundred dollar, to the credit side or to the to the right side. So that is two debit and two credit. Mean entering the amount on the left or right side. Yeah, depends. Two debit enter the amount on the left side. Two credit enter the amount on the on the credit or the right side. Okay, and your action will result. And into an increase or a decrease in the accounts. Okay. Okay, let us move to accounting equations. I did mention, we did discuss, yeah, assets is equal to liability plus honest equity. Yeah, this is the basic one. For example, your asset is $100,000. Your liability is 40000 your honest equity or honest contribution is equal to 100,000 minus 40,000 that give you 60,000. What is assets? Yeah. Assets are all the resources controlled by the firm as a result of past transaction yeah, that give the business a potential future inflow of resources, maybe cash, maybe Reduction in cost. Okay. For example, liability. For, for liability is obligations, yeah, which will result into outflow of resources. When you took loan from the bank, okay, 
after certain periods, you will have to pay the bank certain amount of money. That will be what we call as outflow of resources. You have to pay the interest. You have to pay the principal. So that will what we call as liability, mean your obligation, which will result in outflow of resources. Whereas honest equity is the net worth of assets or the capital contribution by the owner, which equal to assets minus liability. Later on, when we run the business, when we run the business, we started generate revenues, incurred expenses, so we make profit. I did mention profit will increase honest equity. Loss will result in, in reducing your honest equity. So under extended accounting equation, you must understand that honest equity is equal to opening capital plus revenues minus expenses minus drawing. So these are the extended version. When I include all this equation into a single equation, we will have assets is equal to liabilities plus honest or plus opening or beginning capital plus revenue minus expenses minus drawing. Or in a short form, A is equal to L plus C plus R minus E minus D. Yeah, it's very complicated. Yeah, but we can rearrange this formula. We can bring the E and D or expenses and drawing to the left side. We can bring that one to the left side. So if we do that, what will happen to our equation is asset plus expenses plus drawing is equal to liabilities plus beginning capital plus revenue or equal to asset plus expenses plus drawing equal to liabilities plus capital plus revenue. A plus E plus D is equal to liability L plus C plus R. So that is the easy way. So we divide on the left side, on the left side AED and on the right side LCR. Okay, from these equations, we can go to the accounting rule of double entry. Okay, for assets, expand and drawing the left side, any increase in assets or equity, sorry, or expenses or drawing, you are going to debit. You're going to put the amount on the left side or on the debit side. An increase, sorry, a decrease in assets, expenses, or drawings, you should credit the accounts. You should put the amount on the credit side. Okay, let me repeat again. For an increase in asset, maybe cash, increase in expenses, maybe wages, or drawings, so you need to debit the account. You need to put the amount on the debit side. Whereas a decrease in asset, expenses, or drawing, you're going to write on the opposite side. You're going to credit the accounts that is on the right side. Okay. This is for asset, equity, and drawing. Whereas for liability, capital, and revenue, it follows the opposite rule. Whereby any increase in liability, capital, or revenue, you need to credit the accounts or you need to put the amount on your right side. Whereas a decrease in liability, capital or revenue, you're going to put in the on the on the debit side, on the right side. Yeah, on the right side. Okay. So this is the the accounting equations and how it relates to your to your to your double entry rules. Okay. And from that rule, we can see this is the, the normal balance, the effect for assets, expenses, and drawing. The normal balance is on the debit side, whereas for liability, capital, and revenue, the normal balance is on, uh, on the credit side. Thank you so much for watching the, the video.